we uh, have a mandate to uh, invest in, uh, in Africa, but given that it's a limited mandate, we have decided to focus on two sectors. So the two sectors that we are mainly uh, involved in uh, are the infrastructure sector. Of course, we have a, a huge uh, expertise there. And infrastructure includes also for us very much the water sector. And uh, if I have time later on, I will give at least one example of uh, water where we are uh, really investing and seeing that the change uh, happening. But of course, also transportation, energy, and so on. The second sector, of course, very important sector, one of our partners is right here, actually two of our partners uh, are right here, is the financial uh, sector. Now, uh, we have seen that uh, reforms have been happening, and this is the, uh, the good news. I mean, uh, things that we couldn't do uh, before, uh, we are seeing that uh, they're happening. One area where I'm, I'm happy to say reforms are happening uh, is in the climate action, climate change area, renewables. Uh, uh, grids uh, to, to transfer, to transmit the uh, electricity, uh, where, uh, for example, I can give here, yesterday I signed uh, a loan for a wind farm in four islands of Cape Verde. Now, it's a small loan by most standards, it's, uh, it's 30 million euros, but what these wind farms are going to do is they're going to make Cape Verde be able, in a few years, <coughs> get 25% of its energy from renewable sources, and by 2020, 50%. Now, what was it that made it uh, possible? First of all, was good governance on the part of the government of uh, Cape Verde, and that's uh, very important. That's why Cape Verde is one of our, our best, um, uh, let's say, partners. And also, because this is a private-public uh, uh, partnership, a relatively recent PPP decree and law which made this kind of a structure very much uh, feasible. Uh, okay, so this is something that has happened since the things that we're seeing uh, ahead again in the uh, area of uh, renewables is, uh, for example, in South Africa. We think that South Africa uh, is, is an incredible market for uh, renewables in the future. They have this uh, renewable energy feed-in uh, tariff, refit, uh, which in the past has had some problems, but now they're working a, a Mark II version of uh, Refit, uh, which we think that uh, even when done properly, which we are quite sure that it will be done uh, properly, uh, will allow us uh, to get into financing of, uh, of wind uh, farms or even solar. Solar is a little bit uh, more difficult. Um, we have uh, experiences, good experiences in the, in the water sector, Cameroon, which is uh, uh, a very good uh, example, uh, to in 2004, did a, a total reform of the water sector. And basically what they did was they, they made the, uh, the production and the distribution of water privatized, while Cam Water, uh, which is the state company, remained the owner, the sole owner of the infrastructure, and also the one responsible uh, for investment. And what that did was, this was uh, the, the model of, uh, of Senegal. Uh, what that did was uh, it allowed financiers like us, but uh, also African Development Bank and uh, World Bank and so on, be able to get in there and finally last year sign uh, a loan that will provide such distribution of drinking water in Yaoundé and in other cities. So from 2004, it took six years. So sometimes we have to be uh, a little bit uh, uh, patient. So. Overall, the, uh, the message is a very positive one. Uh, there are many more examples, but uh, we are here to, uh, to basically uh, invest in infrastructure in a better environment than we used to uh, in the past. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.